I've got to say, I'm not the biggest fan of cheese flavoured snacks. Oh yeah, but this doesn't smell like cheese. Yeah, I'll go with weird. They're weird. Oh, mmm. I'm still trying to find the cherry. <laughs> All I'm tasting is coconut. Now, if these are the worst flavours, mm. what are the best flavours going to be like? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Fran and Jay exploring the world's food. Today we're in Australia. I mean, we're not in Australia, we're in the UK, but we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're eating Australia. Metaphorically speaking, <laughs> we're in Australia. Today we're eating Australian snacks. I'm quite excited about this one because it is... Um, I was supposed to be there before I hit 30, sorry. That was a long time ago. Which is shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Everybody goes to Australia, it's sunny. And lots of Australians come here and then go back. Oh, that's true. And then so you meet them and you're like, have a good party. And then they leave and you're like, come back. Yeah. We like you. Come back. We've got a selection of Australian snack food, which we're going to be trying today. And here they all are. A selection of savoury and sweet treats here. Some well known, others not quite so much. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get them out. I roped my cousin Josh into giving us some advice on these snacks because he lives in Australia. So why not? get some Australian opinions mm -hmm. on them. Um, so thanks for that Josh and hi! We release new videos every week where we explore food from all around the globe. Plus we do travel vlogs and share our most valuable travel tips. So if that's something that interests you then hit that subscribe button and so you don't miss a future video. We're currently in lockdown in England so we can't travel anywhere. <laughs> but once we are able to we'll be back on the road and exploring this amazing planet of ours. So stay tuned for that! At time of filming, we've just hit 100 subscribers and we just want to thank every single one of you. First up today is Shapes. Jay has the original, I got your natural cheese. <laughs> it's my cheese. <laughs> natural cheese, it's my cheese, natural <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Sorry, that was very childish. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> so this is a savoury cracker snack. Um, and they're called Shapes because every single flavour has their own shape. That's cool. I didn't realise that. Yeah. That's so awesome. as you can see, this original one. I'm confused by this packaging because there's four different shapes on the packaging on the original savoury. But there's only one one shape on this one. Well, we'll see what happens when we open it. I guess. <laughs> Love that. These come in all kinds of other flavours as well. Like on the back here, it says it comes with in pizza, barbecue, and chicken crimpy. What's a chicken crimpy? That. What's a crimpy? Yeah, I've never heard that word before. So, yeah, if you're an Aussie watching this, tell us what a crimpy is. We... <laughs> I'm really curious now. Josh says that these are pretty good, but we have the worst flavours. <laughs> so... I think he said his favourite was pizza. And barbecue. And barbecue, yeah. Okay, so they come in a foil bag. So they're all triangles, by looks of things. Yum. <laughs> You're choking on them already. Yeah, I know, because I want to inhale them. Oops. They taste a bit like whiskey. Babe. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. They are actually different shapes. That's weird. Okay. Maybe the original has different shapes. They're quite salty. Yes. And there doesn't seem to be any other underlying flavour other than just the cracker itself. This has cheese in it, actually. And sesame seeds. Oh, but these are good. Yeah, mm. good start. Mm -hmm. I'm liking these. Let's go for the nacho cheese, though. Mm. Now, before I try these, I've got to say, I'm not the biggest fan of cheese flavoured snacks. Oh, yeah, but this doesn't smell like cheese. Does it not? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. It smells like nachos. There's a bit of spice in there as well. Ooh, That's sort of a jalapeno kind of undertone to it. This smells like... Nachos, as in when you go to a pub and you get a plate of nachos with the guacamole and the cheese and the meat thing and the, mm, and the jalapenos. Chili. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. <laughs> I was not expecting that. When the pack said nacho cheese, I was expecting, you cheese. know, almost like that spray cheese you get in America. Yeah, or like a really cheesy Dorito, which you don't ever buy because mm -hmm. you don't like them, but. Yeah. Not this. Wow. Okay, yeah. 
Now, if these are the worst flavors, mm. what are the best flavors gonna be like? <laughs> <laughs> What's actually in these stem? Tomato powder, onion powder, garlic powder, cheese, and then salt and just usual stuff. Anyway, shapes. Uh, we'll give them a thumbs up. Mm. Next up is burger rings. I just said these were kind of weird. Yeah, from what I've been reading online as well, a lot of people are saying they're not what they used to be. And in fact, this seems to be a common theme. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so I've, I've sort of done a quick research and everything, and a lot of people are saying that everything, they've changed the recipe, they preferred it when they were children, and now they're just not the same. Do you think that's because there's now laws and stuff on the amount of MSG you can put in stuff? <laughs> well, maybe that. I think it's also about healthy eating and people yeah. want to eat less sugar and salt and fat and that kind of stuff. Alrighty, let's get into this. Let's see what kind of weird tastes like. Okay, they're way smaller than I thought they would be. Hmm, okay. Tiny. They are a lot smaller. I, was, I thought they'd be bigger than this. Like an onion ring, but yeah. not. Okay, but they don't smell very burgery. They definitely smell more oniony than burgery. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know what these remind me of? What? Pickled onion monster munch. Yeah, they can. But, but yeah, not as. They're not as sharp. Yeah. Big burger taste. What I like about these uh, Australian foods, in fact, I even noticed on the shapes, on the front, it gives you a health star rating. <laughs> and this is ranked 1.5 out of 5. Does that mean it's bad? So if it has a 5 star rating, that's like a carrot. Probably, yeah. Okay. I think these are more oniony than burgery. Mm. Um, and weird. And the more you taste them, the more I'm like, I'm getting a weird aftertaste. And, yeah, I'll go with weird. They're weird. They're weird. Not, I mean, I, I still eat them, they're quite moorish, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I was open a pack of it, I would still eat the whole pack. Hmm. I don't know what's eating it. I mean, it's just flavoured air, really. Yeah. But I've all made snacks like that. Mm. I like it, because you can eat it. But it's weird. Mm. Next up is an Australian favourite, the Tim Tam. <laughs> I have worked with quite a lot of Australians in my past, and... They have always raved about these, and it's most similar to a penguin biscuit what we have in the UK. And in fact, it was actually inspired by the penguin biscuit. There was some dude, whose name I don't remember, who <laughs> came to the UK, saw the penguin and thought, I can make a better version of that. And so he went back to Australia and he apparently did. <laughs> but we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> this has a, um, a health star rating of 0.5. <laughs> Which means I don't have too many of these because it's got a lot of sugar. Alright, enough talk. Let's get eaten. Oh, they're so chunky. Mm. Look at that. Oh, oh my, so that smell. chocolate smell. <laughs> I'm, oh, trying to get, is... I'm trying to get a close up shot for our viewers. No, you just want to smell no. them. <laughs> that is. You oh. can smell the caramel. There's the no chocolate. caramel in this one though, Isn't it's just it? chocolate. This is original. Ooh, that has a good snap. Good snap. You can have a big one. Okay, fine. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. Wow, that sugar is um really standing out in there. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar <laughs> in that. I think the biscuit is quite crumbly. Yes. Um, like I said, it had a really nice snap when we broke mm. it. There is a, another way of eating this though. Yeah. It's called a Tim Tam Slam. <laughs> that is the best way of eating a Tim Tam. In fact, it's the only way I eat Tim Tams. Well, stop eating that. No, get out of your mouth. <laughs> and let's do a slam, right? Yes. <laughs> let's do a slam. Now, for a Tim Tam Slam, you need two things that are essential, okay. right? A cup of tea. Ooh, a cup of tea. And a Tim Tam. And a Tim Tam. <laughs> so this is how you do it. You bite a corner off. Then you bite the opposite end of the corner off. Awesome. Then you put one corner in the tea and the other corner you suck through like a straw. And then you inhale the whole thing in one big go. Okay. Oh God. Oh, mmm. Wow. That just melted away. How amazing is that? 
<clears throat> also, Tim Tams come in a variety of flavours, but can you just imagine mint? Ooh. Ooh. Or caramel. caramel. Oh. Dark chocolate. I feel like we need to have another visit to the Australian shop and get every single flavour imaginable. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm going to just... I'm just going to do it now. <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> this next one I'm quite excited about. It's just such an awesome combination of flavors. I can't wait to try it. Um, Cadbury's Tropical Pineapple. I tried to find stuff online about this one, and there's very, very little information out there. It just seems to me that perhaps it was at one point it was a special edition, and now it's just part of their normal range. Good for me. <laughs> so yeah. Let's give this one a whirl, shall we? Mm. Now, I think the pineapple itself must be within the squares, so... Cheers. Cheers. And we're going to colour. Mm, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> that is such an illuminous yellow, isn't it? Hmm. And actually... That pineapple works. Yeah. It's a bit... I still feel it's a bit odd flavour to go with chocolate, but... Depends if you like pineapple or not. Mm. But now I've tried it, it does remind me of, like, sometimes you get specialist boxes of chocolates, almost like one of, maybe one of those boozy ones. Yes! A boozy specialist chocolate. There mm. you go, people! <laughs> <laughs> Make a pineapple with Oh, it's really good! I don't think I'd like it as much as a Tim Tam, but again, I'm not sure if I would eat that entire bar. A couple of little squares like this will be fine for me. Would you eat all that? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the time of day. One thing I do find odd about Cadbury's, and I discovered this the first time I went to South Africa with you, is that other countries have other products we don't have in this country. Yeah. And I just assumed that because Cadbury's is a British company, the range would be the same all over the world. But no, I go to South Africa and you were like, you've got these other things that we don't have. And I'm like, why do we not have these? I think that is a, a video all on its own. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. If you want us to do that, let us know. I don't mind eating more chocolate in the name of YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a hard life, but someone's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is a little controversial, um, and it depends entirely on who you speak to. But um, Cherry Ripe. Is it going to focus this time? Yes. Yay! Yay, focused! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh said, this is hated by all. And yet, I know lots of Australians who absolutely love it. And it is actually one of the best-selling bars in Australia. That's so odd. He says that in a selection box, he's always the last to go. Well, it is coconut on the inside. So it might be that. It's like Bounty. Like Bounty, exactly. I love a Bounty. Yeah, me too. So in our selection boxes, the Bounties are the first to go. Yeah. <laughs> And a weird, it's weird on the inside. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so it kind of does look like a dark chocolate bounty, but where the coconut is red. Okay, well, let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Where's the cherry? I can taste synthetic cherry. I don't know if it's real cherry in there actually or if it's just cherry flavouring. This has never seen a cherry. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. It says it contains glacé cherries. Glacé cherries. Yeah, but those are not real cherries. Those are like yeah. sugar cherries. Yeah. I mean... I'm still trying to find the cherry. <laughs> All I'm tasting is coconut. Because I remember eating one of these about five or six years ago and it was much more cherry like mm. whereas this is like what yeah yeah I'm not sure about this one it's a bit disappointing yeah our final chocolate we're tasting today is a violet crumble so this is actually over a hundred years old not this very particular <laughs> bar but the product itself <laughs> uh, it started being sold in 1913 awesome. in Melbourne and it seems to be most similar to a crunchy. It's a honeycomb centre covered in chocolate. Cool. And it's actually, I like how big it is. 
So let's open it and see what we get. Oh, Ooh, that flew everywhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's mm. just the honeycomb. Just smell the honeycomb. Weirdly. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This isn't as hard as crunchy. No, it's not. It's a bit softer. I definitely saw that when I snapped it. Like little bits of dust, honeycomb dust went everywhere. I like it better than a crunchy. Because my whole issue with crunchies is it's really hard and I don't really like mm. that. Because this is yummy. So, a little fun fact about this. In Sydney, there's a basketball team called the Sydney Kings. And they play in very similar colours to what's on the wrapper. And in the 90s, they had a few really bad seasons. And so they ended up getting the uh, nickname the Violet Crumbles. <laughs> that's a burn. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Oh, yeah, I like this. I would eat that whole bar of Adam just eaten so much other chocolate just for. Hmm, <laughs> win. Win. So, what was your favourite out of that selection? Tim Tams! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> but that's because you could slam them and then it doesn't feel like you're eating that much and then you just. just all the goodness. Mm. All the goodness. I think out of all the sweet ones, Tim Tams are my favourite as well, but from the entire selection, I'm going with shapes, nacho cheese, and I think I'm going with them because the flavour is not what I expected it to be. Because it did have that um, sort of Mexican, the whole Mexican vibe to it. Which is odd, because <laughs> you expect it to be cheesy, but it wasn't mm. cheesy. No, they need to really rebrand it, nacho flavoured, not nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Australia done. Uh, what else should we try? I mean, we've got videos planned for New Zealand and America and across Europe and, you know, so just give us some suggestions down below in the comments and we'll see if we can find it and try them in a future video. And, and let us know what we cannot possibly mm. leave out of those countries that we just mentioned because... And probably, more. And more. And mm. more. Anyway, we, I mean, you know, we're willing and eager to try everything, so mm. bring it. That's it from us today. Um, we try and put content out every week so make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notifications in case you miss anything um, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well links right here and we'll see you next time we are bouncing off the walls a little bit <laughs> <laughs> just a little <laughs> oh sugar Oh, that's sugar! <laughs> Is that supposed to be a song or you just invented it? I just it? made it up, like literally, because I'm. Copyright for an hour. <laughs>